Welcome to Key Concept 6, Using A3 Problem Solving Methodology. As previously indicated, A3 is a paper size of 11 by 17 inches, and this paper size has been used for decades in what is now called A3 Problem Solving. The following sample form is often pre-printed and bound in tablet form and distributed to work units to promote simplicity and ease of use. Like the value stream map, it is suggested that the completion be done with a pencil to promote simplicity and ease of change. The left side of A3 problem solving process, or left side of paper, is typically devoted to the current state process analysis, and the right side of the process analysis, or right side of the paper, is devoted to future state. Selected problem identification tools will be discussed further in this section and selected problem analysis tools will be covered in more detail in the sections that follow. It is important to note that traditional problem solving methods and tools are employed. However, by using A3 sized paper, simplicity and ease of change are stressed. The process is deceptively easy to apply. In order to improve any process, the current state or as is state of the process should be defined. As previously indicated, one of the first steps is to observe and to map or flowchart the process. Problems or opportunities for improvement are later the focus of improvement efforts. As a caution, one of the mistakes often made is jumping ahead to try to improve the process without adequately observing and defining the current state process. Defining the problem, goal, purpose, or objective sounds easy, but it's not. It requires using both parts of the brain. Often people identify symptoms of the problem and fail to get to the root cause. This form is a format to consider when attempting to define a problem. Clearly defining the problem makes gathering facts, analyzing data, generating alternatives a lot easier. Here are some of the common tools used in problem solving and how they are typically used. Take a few seconds now to review the categories and related tools. Previously, we described the importance of observation and flowcharts as tools for problem identification. Let's examine some of the other commonly used problem identification tools. Check sheets. This tool is pretty self-explanatory. An observation form may be one type of check sheet. Basically, almost any form used to collect or tally data in real time at a location where the data is generated, quantitative or qualitative, could be considered a check sheet. Pareto charts, named after Vilfredo Pareto, an Italian engineer and economist. A Pareto chart is a type of chart that illustrates and represents individual values in descending order typically bars, and the cumulative total is represented by the line. This tool is particularly useful in determining which opportunities for improvement may be the best to start with. Histograms. In statistics, a histogram is a graphical representation showing a visual impression of the distribution of data. Histograms are used to plot density of data and often for density estimation. Estimating the probability density function of the underlying variable. Surveys. Most people have participated in surveys at one point or another in their lives. Surveys are merely a method for collecting quantitative information about items in a population. Let's review. It is suggested that A3 problem solving, like the VSM, be completed using a pencil with erasers to promote simplicity and ease of change. And traditional problem solving methodologies and tools are employed as appropriate. Now that you've been introduced to the concept of flowcharting and mapping processes, let's take a look at the next steps you should take to master this key concept. First, you will have an opportunity to enhance your learning by visiting a website to learn more about how the A3 problem solving process is being used in the healthcare industry. And you will also have the opportunity to view two short videos to learn more about the A3 problem solving process 
and gain an understanding of the key elements. Then you can reinforce your learning by reviewing your value stream map to identify what portion, segment of the process, or subprocess, if improved, would result in the greatest impact for you and or your organization. And finally, you will assess your learning by completing a practice quiz on this key topic.